Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's a Ginger Yeti, and I'm back at home. Uh, it's February 19th when I'm recording this. I just got back from a beer day with TK's place, had a good time down there, recorded a lot of videos with him. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to uh, record any videos for my own channel because I'm a dummy. But while I was down there, we found out a few different breweries that we're big fans of are closing down. It's a sad day. And one of them is, the, is a beer I have right now from a brewery called Ice Tier. Ice Tier was an amazing spot up in Bowling Green, Ohio. The people that worked there and owned the place, the brewers, were super cool dudes. And this brewery, uh, we've done some videos on Tristan did some uh has done a few videos on their beers shot a few videos in there over the years and these guys are just great people and the brewery is a really cool unique place it was very focused around uh Dungeons and Dragons magic like those kind of gaming things those kind of games and they'd have like magic nights all kind of things going on and so when I found out that they were closing I had to stop in and grab some beers and stuff while I was there Here's a little uh, video of the brewery from Saturday night. That's cool. And while I was there, picked up a couple of cool things. Bought one of their awesome tap handles. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but that's really cool. And another cool thing they do is on their menu, they would have like card sheets and, and do these kind of things as their current menus. I'll put a picture up there, one of them, like this one here, because this is a Ohio one from the heart. Um, it says, when this artifact comes into play, if you control one full glass, give each opponent one empty glass. And From the Heart was a, a beer that was one of those brew, uh, beers where people would have, everybody in, the, in Ohio would get the same ingredients and try to brew a beer with it. Or brew some sort of style of beer along those lines. But back to the brewery. I mean, it's, I can't speak highly enough about the brewery. It's really a shame that they're closing down. I had to get some of their beers for one last time because by the time this video comes out, that brewery would be closed. Unless by some miracle, somebody comes along and offers to buy it and keep it open. So the beer I have was canned that night and it's called Toast Mortem. I mean, you can see here, they're just using duct tape labels at this point on generic cans. It's 5.8% alcohol and a description on uh, the digital board they have says, ringing in the new year with a toast to death. I guess that's kind of fitting because the brewery's dying. Berry 2023 with this Earl Grey tea infused ESB. So this is an ESB and it's Earl Grey tea infused. Now, I like Earl Grey tea. I haven't seen many beers that have Earl Grey tea in them. I don't, I don't know if I've even seen any beers that have Earl Grey tea in them. There used to be a spot by my house that made uh, Earl Grey gelato that was amazing, but the people were tired and they couldn't get their business sold to anybody and it's no longer there, which is sad. Now this is a collaboration with Another Path podcast, <clears throat> and that's, from what I can tell, is like a DD and Magic the Gathering gaming kind of podcast. I'll make sure to put a link down below for them so you can go check them out. And again, it's just it's a sad day to see a, a great brewery close. Uh, this beer was just brewed not that long ago, so on tapped, there's nothing. On untapped, there's nothing. And there's nothing on Beer Advocate either. Now that's a different kind of color. I mean, it almost looks like tea. And of course, I'm using my ice tier glass I just picked up. The head, some big bubbles on there, but about a fingernail's worth of head. Go to my SRM chart. I would give that about a 15 on my winemaker's SRM chart. And smell. As I stick my nose in it, 
not a whole lot of smell to it. Uh, just a, a faint beer kind of smell. And this was poured off a draft line right into the can. Like I said, it was canned Saturday. This is uh, Sunday evening, Monday morning. Let's give it a go. This is to you, Ice Tier. Really enjoyed your brewery. Medium to light bodied. And it is a nice ESB. You get that nice bitterness, some nice maltiness. There's a subtle flavor in there that I'm thinking might be the tea, but it's really, really subtle and nondescript. And you know, I don't know how well Earl Grey tea would really come out in a beer. But it's a good beer. I mean, this is a nice ESB. Yeah, at the back end, you do get a little bit of that Earl Grey tea kind of flavor. But Earl Grey tea is very, has very subtle flavors to it. This is a great product. And it's sad to see such a great brewery going under, not being able to handle the economic climate we're in now. It's just sad. I give this big horns up. Wish you all the best of luck, Ice Tier. Give your brewery two big horns up. You were a great place. Everybody out there, please go support your local breweries. A lot of them are struggling right now. And if you like those breweries, you need to go support them. Even if you're just going in and buying a beer now and then, please just go support the local breweries. Cheers, everybody.